small CDC Comparadon or com combination of the Comparadon and the CDC feather fibre mixed together, which actually forms a very good, robust fly. Uh, in the fly itself, I'm going to be using uh, a light coloured microfibre. Um, for the body, I'm going to be using Turkey Bayat. In this case, this is Blue Winged Olive. For the wing, I'm going to be using this is Coastal Deer here. It's very fine stuff. And obviously, CDC feathers. Um, thread I'm going to be using is the Uni Thread. In this case, yellow. And for the hook, I'm going to use a size 14 B160 Camasan. Anyway, that's the fly there, just to show you the finished fly before I start. It's a lovely wee dressing, it, it does, the, the ginks up extremely well, it's robust, lasts, catches a few fish before it starts to disintegrate, but it's a great fly to have in your box. Anyway. You can tie whatever colour you like, other colour combination that you feel suits the flies that's coming off. You can really go down in size as well. I find the deer hair mixed with the CDC seems to last longer. Uh, you don't have to replace the fly as it wears, uh, just as quick. I'll put this in the vise. Now you just simply start at the eye of the hook. I would take the thread approximately halfway down or two, put the threads in line with the point and then I'd bring it just over halfway back up. The Comparadon or the for the wing of the Comparadon I'm going to use as I said the Coastal Deer. Now you don't need a lot, don't put too much on, if you're putting too much on you'll struggle to get the, the shape that you're looking for. Now you have to stack this, I'm going to use just to small stacker here just to bring the tips in line just bring them up just lost them for a second just a sec there we are all lined up now the wing length is the full length of the hook that's from this here point here to there so there's your length that goes over the eye Single turn, just bring it over. Keep a hold of these ends and put two or three turns well in before you do anything else. You can trim these away in steps to that point there. Now, CDC feathers, two is enough because you've got the, the deer hair helping you as well. If I was tying just with the CDC itself, I would probably use three, three small feathers. Now this CDC is uh, off a of mallard. So just line the tips up. Again, you want this the length of the hook. Just pinch and loop on top. And then bind this down nice and tight get to this point here and then trim away and carry on with your thread to line with the barb now there's your wing there it's ready see you can bring this up forcing it with the material later on I'll just to give you an idea but anyway microfibits now I don't really bother too much with like three fibres for a tail or whatever the species has. I normally just put like four. And to fly this size you're looking for at least four to help float the fly and lift the, the back of the fly up. It lasts much longer. Fish don't count tails. I can't see the tail. There you go. That's four fibres there. Now, probably at least hanging over the back, full length of the hook again, or just slightly longer. 
on the top. What I do is a single turn to hold. I keep at the end of the tips. Bring the thread underneath. Bring it up. Force these up. And then what I do is I figure eight through two fibres either side. Just bring the thread this side. Lock it in. Bring the thread on the other side. And lock that down. And there you go. And you see a nice V there. Spreads away to the, the hook and allows the fly to sit properly. Now I'm going to trim this at this point here. This will help balance the body of the fly. Now you're looking for a single fibre for the turkey bite. Now there is a fine hair on one side. You have to find that. You can't see it. It's, and I like to tie these in with the, the fluffy fibre because there's a, one end is actually no fibre at all. At the top edge here you'll see there's a fine fluff or hair if you want to put it that way. Now I just catch it in with a tip and then wind up hopefully forming a nice shape in the body because you have to do that. To get about this point here. And then uh, the turkey bite is not the strongest material in the world. It looks, looks the part when I mean, it's on a fly but it's not the strongest. Now what I like to do here is a wee bit of varnish or super glue, just touch it there. Bring this over and then you'll see the leading edge is the edge with no fibre on it. As you wind up you'll see it forming the body, it makes a lovely body. Just keep going to get to about this point here. Bring it across your thread and a good three, four, five turns to lock it in and then you can tear it off. Okay. Now, I didn't mention the dubbin itself. The dubbin is actually made up of three fibres. Mainly mole, which is in this. Nice light mole, a bit of rabbit and a bit of red squirrel. So matter of dubbing it on. Do your thread nice and light, not a lot. And I start off with a couple of turns at the back. And then what you can do here is Pull some of the fibres and bring the dubbing through the hair as you wind up towards the eye. Get it to the front and then just finish off. It's a bit of a mess just now but just leave it. Keep it nice and tight. Now to varnish the or finish off the fly, tiny bit of varnish onto the thread. And then you go straight in and whip finish. Trim away your thread. Anything maybe going forward with the eye, you're just going to pull it back and trim it away. And there you are. Forms a lovely fly. Lasts a wee tad longer than just the CDC itself. Obviously makes for a better fishing fly sometimes. Especially when the fish are really on. And if they're a bit fussy, the pure CDC then is, I find, most times works well. But as it is, this here consistently keeps going. And that's a combination of some nice materials here to form a small done.